So you've registered your company and received a certificate of incorporation. You now have 30 days to hire a company secretary, or a COSEC for short. Do you need one for your startup? Yes. Every company, whether Sindhian Burhat or Burhat, must appoint at least one COSEC to the board of directors, as required by Section 139 of the Companies Act 1965. This person must be a member of a professional body licensed by the Ministry of Domestic Trade Cooperative and Consumerism or by the Surahan Jaya Sharika Malaysia. The roles and responsibilities of a COSEC include acting as an officer for the company and advisor to the board, ensuring compliance with statutory requirements and advisory, preparing board meetings and being the messenger between you and your shareholders, filing financial reports in a timely manner, protecting the company seal, and being the first point of contact for governmental and other shareholders about legal corporate governance. We'll explain them in a few cases. New government regulations. In the case of 2020's EPF reduction, your COSEC's job is to ensure that the company is compliant with the changes. But it is your responsibility as a director to be aware of this and take care of your employees. Mergers and acquisitions, or M&A. In a potential merger, COSEC must advise the board on the decision, which protects the company's interests, seek shareholders' approval, and document all end-to-end -end transactions in a timely manner. If your company goes bankrupt, the COSEC must arrange all the necessary paperwork, including leases, contracts, insurance policies, employee-related info, and how much money you owe to your creditors. They must also explain why the company is liquidating to your shareholders. There are two ways. Choose from your existing board of directors, or BOD. When electing a COSEC, he or she must publish a written consent for the role. The chosen candidate must submit details of the decision in 30 days to the BOD and SSM. This person must be clear on their roles and responsibilities. According to the SSM, a person who is a single director, who is also a single member, can act as the COSEC of the company. However, the Companies Act 2016 prohibits acts in dual capacity, meaning that one BOD can hold only one position in the company. Or you could hire externally. You are a small business and don't necessarily have the resources to hire a full-time COSEC. And as a startup founder, you're going to need all your time and attention to focus on running your business. There are some COSEC companies in Malaysia that offer their services digitally, and the cost for a COSEC would usually include a retainer fee, filing for annual and audited financial returns, and many more, so the fees may vary. But no matter where you hire one, COSECs must all possess the same qualities. 1. Be well-versed with Malaysian company law. They must have in-depth knowledge of the Malaysia Companies Act and all the annual requirements. This is very important and cannot be compromised. 2. Have appropriate qualification and experience. Like any job, Knowledge and experience is critical, as COSEX must be exposed to updates in legal corporate governance. 3. Have excellent communication skills. Your COSEC usually acts as an advisor and messenger between the BOD and your shareholders. They're also responsible for facilitating the board and annual general meetings. 4. Have organization and administrative skills. They're the company's bookkeeper, handling annual financial reports, taking care of official contracts, agreements, and board decisions. 5. Possess financial analytic skills. They must have an above average understanding with finance. It's no wonder accountants are usually the preferred choice for this position. Do know that you aren't stuck with COSAC if you're not happy with their performance. Because as a company director, you have the right to terminate the services of a COSAC for this very reason. Though it's ideal to have a standby to replace them immediately, you are given a 30-day grace period to hire a new one. The new COSAC must then record the changes to the SSM. Good luck! And stay tuned for more videos like these that'll help you in your entrepreneurship journey.